and um, you know my last release was in Canada, which was Koti Gopa 3 with Kitcha Sudeep sir and I, I could not make it for the promotion so this is after a very long time that I'll actually be interacting with the Canada press but I feel great to be here because uh, you know uh, Dish TV I think is not just one of the leading but the leading pioneers when it comes to upgrading themselves to consumer behavior and you know uh, at lightning speed so I have been a 90s kid and I have seen the advent of Doordarshan, television, OTT during Corona and all of that and I think Dish TV has always been upgrading themselves when it comes to whether it's you know having so many TV channels together on one platform or whether it's having 4K coming in. So uh, that's a great thing and you know with the Indian families you know there are so many kinds of audiences in the same Indian family. So I think uh, Dish TV has been catering to our choices for a very very long time. So I'm really happy to be associated with them and to be you know invited by them over here. Love yeah, all of that coming up and I think like I said Dish TV has I think since 2002 uh, you know constantly been upgrading themselves and I feel I think every time there will be something that comes up and you know uh, the consumer wants more and more I think they, they would just cater to it and they'd be the first to do that so uh, I'm uh, like I said I'm happy to be here and I think that it's always going to be booming constantly all of this so thank you so much the eminent members of press online, digital, electronic, the journalist and the media editors. Uh, we welcome you all here. A very good afternoon to you. I am really excited uh, to welcome you to this momentous occasion and day. And really thank you for making it here, sparing your valuable time for being here with us. Today, uh, as we speak, as we gather here, is going to be a day of reckoning. It's a day of reckoning not only for us as an organization, it's also a day of reckoning for our stakeholders, our customers and the society that we are, and the industry that we operate in. And when I say it's a day of reckoning, why it is a day of reckoning? It is because we are all here to witness yet another revolution being led by Dish TV India Limited and D2H is a part of Dish TV India Limited as we all know it. Somewhere in 2017-18 we acquired the brand. So we are all here to witness yet another devolution uh, by Dish TV India Limited in the way you know uh, content and entertainment is looked upon by the customers. So living to its uh, legacy, name, fame, character and nature or being the pioneer of leading any massive and positive change in the way entertainment and content is delivered to the customers for consumption. Yet again, one more time, like many times before, and I would say, like every time before, we are here to bring in something uh, absolutely disruptive uh, from the point of view of technology, from the point of view of content, from the point of view of entertainment, from the point of view of convenience from the point of view of affordability uh, to all our customers alike whether new or existing or even the prospective customers uh, around the, out there in the world. So this is going to be a defining moment like we have always been pioneer like I said we have been always a pioneer in giving the direction to the industry. So anytime a massive disruption has happened a thought which is revolutionary Dish TV has been synonymous with that uh, initiative. So I'll just take a few moments of yours because the word we are insisting upon is revolution. So why is a revolution? So what is a revolution? Revolution is essentially something which is absolutely breakaway thought, a difference in, uh, difference in opinion, uh, a difference in the way things are looked upon or acted upon. So that's what a revolution is. And so we are just, I'll take you just a few decades back. So how this revolution has happened in the industry of content and entertainment. So we all are, all are familiar when you know, the first TV came to India. It was in 1959. And why it is called a revolution? Because this is the you know stage from where these revolutions and evolutions of entertainment and content started happening in the country. So 1959, till then what was happening? We all used to listen to the commentary or the news or anything of our interest, be it music or anything, over the radio or the transistors. 
right? But in 1959, the TV made its entry to the Indian household. Of course, it was that big box, uh, you know, round shape, you know, shutters opening and shutting. Those kind of TV sets which came and they were black and white. But yes, what it did, why it was a revolution? Because from just listening, you could see somebody, right? Uh, visually, in the form of pictures. So that was the first revolution which happened in entertainment consumption. Now, essentially, what was happening? There was news uh, sponsored by or brought in by the government, uh, the only operator till that time in the continued production. And slowly, we had uh, you know more some bit of programs around agriculture, farming, uh, some regional folk music and dance making their entry into and all being produced by the musician and their regional centers spread across the country. So this era lasted some. 20-21 years. Till Color TV made an entry into our households somewhere around 1978, 79, and 80s. And actually, it picked up a lot of pace during the Asia Games, which happened for the first time in the country at, in 1982. So the massification of Color TV presentation started happening in India. And during that time only, we saw the next revolution coming in. We all know uh, Ramayana and Mahabharata, they added a completely new direction and horizon to what content can do and what kind of content can be produced and what customer is looking forward to. So this was the uh, era when you know a lot of broadcasters, a lot of private equities and entities started looking at content in a completely different way. And this was definitely because it was a completely different uh, breaking away from the traditional uh, ways of thinking and of acting. So this was also sort of revolution for the country, in, especially in the space of entertainment and content. So what happened? Uh, people, uh, the, prior, uh, the broadcasters they started seeing value in creating content beyond news, beyond sports. Drama started coming in, you know, uh, comedies, movies. Uh, all those things started, uh, you know, getting liking by the customer, and they started to. So there was a commercialization of content which has started happening. So taking a cue from this, a lot of corporates, they started seeing a big opportunity going forward because it was the tilting of the scales in absolutely exponential way for the industry. And this is where the uh, growth started steeping up for the content and the content producers. So we saw, like I said, Z also or Dish TV India Limited has been always a pioneer in bringing in anything which is massive and positive. This is the revolution. Can you imagine if the customer today is wanting to watch OTT, there is no other DTH player in the country who has taken the step of providing the same plan OTT plus linear channels, which effectively means that so I just explained it, uh, we have, uh, these will be anyway there in your plan, watch out, which is a short form, uh, small episodes, more mobile friendly content, uh, fan code which has some sports, hangama which has got children as well as uh, some Hindi content, sanskar is a religious channel, spiritual channel, and short TV is for short form documentaries and short films. Apart from that, any one of these you could choose, Mama Flex is not here, but uh, no, maybe it's in the next slide. Sony Lake, Disney Hotstar, Z5, Bon Choi, uh, regional channels basically are available which you can pick up. So here you will have Namaflix. So based on every region there are channels. So Raj is there for South, there is Unnext which is for All South, Raj is for Tamil Nadu, Our Next is for uh, Uriya Content, uh, Manorama Digital and Win is for Malayalam content. So every region has got separate uh, powerful OTTs which the customer can pick up. So the value proposition for the customer is really, now if I just take a poll here, since everybody is uh, watching OTT, all of us typically have two or three OTT subscriptions. Minimum subscription is three months. In some cases, you cannot take anything but a 12 month plan. In such cases, about flexibility, about having the best in the world available to him. At the same time, being an Indian consumer, it's price conscious also. 
right? <laughs> so, and Dish TV has this uniqueness in its uh, DNA that we have always tried, tried to address all of these together, be it technology, confluence of content, affordability, convenience, I bring it ahead of time, uh, like uh, Shraddha also mentioned. So, we and we have always been uh, very cognizant of what is happening in, or what is uh, there in the mind of the customer. So today, entertainment has transformed a lot. The world has become a small village, so to say. Anything which is being produced anywhere is being accessed anywhere at a just a click of a you know download, right? And be it in Brazil, be it in Mexico, somewhere in Korea, Japan, anywhere, and there are likings for content across the globe from different sources of origin. So that is how content has become and entertainment has become so, uh, I mean, uh, widely available, so easily available. People are not following, uh, con uh, people are not following artists anymore or they are not following, they are not following platform anymore. So they are not bothered where it is being played. They are just following their star or their, uh, you know, role model, their idol, like Shraddha today is uh, doing a movie which can be on a OTT platform X. Tomorrow she can be doing a movie which can be only for theatres. Right? And it can be a movie only for TV channels. So there is all kind of possibility, commercial, uh, you know, uh, possibilities are there today. So what people want is to watch the... Okay, so today I'm here in Bangalore to launch the Dish TV Smart Plus, uh, which basically integrates OTT and television. And I think it's the first time anywhere in the world that uh, D2, DTH has, you know, is doing this. So I'm glad to be a part of this fifth revolution. That's what you call it. And uh, yeah, in Nama Bangalore. That's what. <laughs> you want to say something? Can you from here? Okay. So, Dish TV India Limited and D2H is a part of the uh, you know brand that we carry. Uh, this is a unique uh, initiative again, once again. Uh, like every time, uh, Dish is synonymous with bringing in any disruption. And when I say disruption, it's a positive disruption for the customer. Uh, when we provide them what they need in the best possible uh, subscription, uh, technologically making it possible for them without adding any improvements to their viewing habits. And this is something unheard of and I don't think a lot many people will be able, able to replicate it. Wherein we are telling the customer you don't need anything you need around entertainment. You have to just subscribe to one subscription of Dish TV or D2H, Smart Plus. And whatever you desire in the world of entertainment and content, it's available to you without adding a single rupee to your current cost of watching it. Uh, from on And uh, what it makes is that it enables you to watch it anywhere, anytime and on any screen. And I just wanted to add that I think it caters to the typical Indian family, whether it's a rural area or a city, because in a, in a family you have like a mother or a grandmother who has the series that she wants to see on TV and then there are kids who want to watch something on OTT and you know, so, you know it just unites the family completely, this kind of a thing. That too at such a low rate, wherein there's no extra charge in terms of, you know, when you want to really see those OTT um, series or movies on them. So, yes. Perfectly. Thank you. Thank you.